Neuroblastoma is one of the most common childhood cancers with very poor survival chances. Despite intensive therapy, only 10 to 40% of the patients survive five years after diagnosis. Patients who relapse have extremely poor survival chances. The University Medical Center Utrecht and the Princess Maxima Center for Pediatric Oncology are developing a powerful multi-step anti-neuroblastoma therapy that's targeting this need to improve survival chances. Donor umbilical cord blood, harvested from the placenta after a delivery, forms the basis of this new therapy. 80% of the cord blood unit will be transplanted in the patient after the patient's own impaired immune system is depleted by a specific chemotherapy course. The stem cells present in the cord blood engraft the empty bone marrow and develop into a new potent donor immune system that produces naive T cells. In a specialized laboratory, the stem cells from the remaining 20% of the cord blood unit are isolated and expanded. Growth factors and cytokines are added to differentiate the stem cells into dendritic cells. Dendritic cells orchestrate the immune system and can prime naive T cells to recognize specific tumor antigens. Careful selection of these antigens can make the therapy tumor and patient specific. The mRNA encoding for the chosen antigens is electroporated into the cell. This leads to a presentation of a broad spectrum of antigen-specific epitopes on the surface of the dendritic cell. Subsequently, the dendritic cells will be matured with a mix of cytokines. The dendritic cells are now ready for use. For the next phase in the treatment protocol, the vaccination. The vaccination will be given when the cord blood-derived immune system is sufficiently reconstituted in the patient six to eight weeks after transplantation. The vaccination takes place close to lymphoid organs in which the injected dendritic cells will encounter naive T cells. The dendritic cells will stimulate these naive T cells specific for the presented tumor antigens. The expression of full-length proteins in the dendritic cell vaccine allows stimulation of both helper T cells and cytotoxic T cells that distribute throughout the body. These cells will travel through the bloodstream and enter sites where tumor cells are present. However, neuroblastoma cells can avoid recognition by the immune system, contributing to the hard-to-treat nature of the tumor. The final step of the proposed treatment solution is therefore to manipulate the microenvironment of the tumor with cytokines or epigenetic drugs, leading to the forced expression of the patient's tumor-specific antigens on the surface of the tumor cells, which increases the immunogenicity of the cells. The antigen-specific cytotoxic T cells can now recognize their epitopes and will destroy cells that express them. This novel targeted treatment solution aims to eradicate tumor cells in the whole body, including the brain. It offers a systemic treatment of metastases and provides immunological memory for surveillance to prevent future relapses.